Hi, welcome to Mara Onboarding. My name is Sam, CTO and co-founder of Nanum. This is the Mara app. You can see that there's an onboarding video, how many credits you have remaining, a bunch of examples, and you can even start a new chat. I'm gonna start with a simple example. What are the chemical properties of Tylenol? You can chat with Mara to do scientific informatics tasks in just plain English. You can see that Mara is initially planning and thinking to use the tools it has at its disposal to get you the right answer. You can see it actually previews the plan to you and it goes ahead and executes the tools and then provides an AI summary. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and open up the tool and we can see the tool preview that this tool, the get smiles from generic or brand name from a compound is actually a Kemble tool and its input extracted correctly, which is Tylenol and it outputs a smile string. Then it utilizes another tool, calculate chemical descriptors from smiles using our dkit to actually get the rest and provides an update. Notice that these are deterministic tools. We know what the inputs and the outputs are. This is not a black box. We can talk tomorrow in a very natural and conversational way. So if I just wanted to add conversationally, let's draw it in 2D. Uh, we can have it actually generate the molecular view for the small molecule. Here you can see it's generated. You can also upload files directly. So if you wanted to drag and drop a PDB or a SDF or CSVs, um, you could easily do that and start doing analysis right away. We've also included uh, chemical drawing tools and features. So you could easily go ahead and draw structures directly from within the app and save them as a smiles, maybe asking for similar structures or doing a substructure search on your existing internal database. Notice that we also have credits. Every time you use one tool run, it's one credit, but in the future, larger compute tools will cost more credits. I'll give you a quick preview of tools now that we've used some. We actually have a massive list of tools available in Mara on the tools page. We've gone ahead and provided over 150 initial tools to get you started, ranging from cheminformatics to bioinformatics, and you can disable any tool for you and your org by just clicking on some of these buttons. I'll show you how to build your own tools in a bit. For now, we'll go back to the chat. Awesome. So say we have a, this conversation. One of the things that we can do is generate a data table. I'm gonna go and click on tables and files and generate table from chat. What this will do is it'll look at all the tools that were used in your chat, all the inputs and the outputs, and say, if I was a data scientist, how would I wanna organize this information into a data set such that I can immediately provide some sort of analysis? And we go ahead and construct that for you automatically. As you can see, it'll take a little bit to get started. This is an experimental feature, so please be patient. But there you go. We all even automatically handled a few chemical kind of features like being able to preview this, the structure in 2D um, and make it one click copyable for smiles. But what's great is we can also use natural language to interact with this intelligent data table. So here I'm gonna go actually in this chat, uh, maybe say, let's add a new row for Advil. And what you'll see is that actually we'll use tools to start populating the values and new rows and columns of this data set. Here you can see it added a new row. It went out and it used tools to actually populate what would be in here. It grabbed Advil and it even calculated the chemical properties based on the columns and the context of what was there already. We can ask a new, add a new column as well. Maybe for an additional chemical descriptor, like synthes synthetic ability score, accessibility score. That'll go check and see what tools we have, create a new column, and go ahead and start doing operations to add it. You can even drag and drop an SDF file to automatically construct a SAR table for quick analysis. You can see that the synth synthetic accessibility score has now been populated for both of them. And what's great is we can even go and look at the previous data frame operations that were done. In this case, we'll look at add row for Dadville. And you can scroll down and see the thought process and executed code as it went to go get the values, specifically around tools and tool use. Perfect. Tool creation. One of the most powerful aspects of Mara is its tool extensibility. Here, you can create your own. So when you create your own, 
you're going to need a name and a description. This is going to be helpful for Mara to do planning and understand when it should be used in workflows. You'll also need to select a category. So make sure you're descriptive in both the name and the description to add more context around how the tool should be used and what type of formatting you'd expect things to be in. Then note that there's a different types. So we support you know, a couple different key types of tools right off the bat. One of them is an HTTP request, which means we can specify which arguments that we would come in. So say this is a smiles argument, which would be a string. Um, and you can go ahead and add an HTTP request and hit any REST endpoint or API endpoint through HTTP and get those back as a file, a JSON or text, and end up doing that, giving that back to the chat. Very easy. Another way you can do things with tool creation is Python. What's amazing about this is it allows you to basically paste in a Python script that can be immediately leveraged by your entire organization. Note that you have access to fill in, fill in the Docker file prep, as well as the requirements.txt file, or you can even use AI to generate this. So say if I wanted to you know, write a script that takes in a smile string and makes a 2D image using RDKit. And just like that, we go ahead and generate for you. You can also go back and test each of the tools really easily. You can see that it already generated that text for me. Maybe I can ask to add comments. What's amazing about this is we can really, really quickly and rapidly paste some tools that you've, you've used, some scripts that you've used for orchestrating parts of your informatics workflow and save it where it's immediately available, not only as a chat by other people in your organization, but all tools instantly become REST API endpoints. So when we go to this tool ID uh, at the top for the URL, we can actually API hit this later and leverage that for the rest of our infrastructure. Another form of tool that we have is SQL. So with this, we can actually add our SQL configuration information. And there's kind of two main things you can do here. You can have a specific SQL query template. So this is like really common SQL queries that you typically have to kind of switch things around a little bit here and there. Um, but now you can kind of just paste them in, make sure that the arguments are dynamic, and then your entire organization can start leveraging those and not need to come to you just to rerun a specific query. You can also generate that SQL using AI. One of the things that we can also do is dynamic queries. And what this means is that without any like query template at all, uh, if you ask a question about the database, we'll just try to generate you SQL on the fly, test to make sure it works and go ahead and, and talk to the database. Note, this is read only for now. Um, it'll change over time. Wonderful. Reminder that all these tools are immediately accessible as an API endpoint. So when you click on a tool details, you can see this HTTP endpoint, and this tells you how to be able to hit it from a third party application. For advanced users, API key management allows you to use Mara in a third party application, such as Slack, Teams, or your company's internal app. It also enables you to interact directly with Mara and the natural language data frame manipulation features from within a Jupyter notebook. You can create an API key in your settings. And that's the overview. We really hope you enjoy trying out Mara in public beta. Please be patient and give feedback. You can give feedback inside of the chat at any time by hovering over response from Mara and clicking the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Feel free to join our community Slack channel and talk to us about use cases or even get support. See you next time.